Who? Who? You know what time it is. It's time to hear a story full of wonder. There's so much fun we'll have learning together. So let's go down, go down to the clubhouse with Ollie and his friends. Let's go down, down, down to the clubhouse where wonder friends, welcome to the clubhouse. Today we're making paper airplanes. Have you ever made a paper airplane before? I have this book of plans to make paper airplanes. See, I made this green one and it flies like this. Look at this blue one. Watch me fly it through the hoop. Now I'm working on following another plan. I just need to fold it this way, this way. Oh. Hoo. It's Ollie! Hello, Danny! Hoo. Hoo. Making paper airplanes, are you? Hey, Ollie! I have some special plans to make paper airplanes. Following plans is important. It's true. I know someone who has plans for you. Listen to this story. Just follow me through. Follow me through. Follow me through. I'm Aisha and welcome to my cupcake food truck. Today my friend gave me a new recipe to try and when I followed the plan, ta-da! <laughs> I made peanut butter and jelly cupcakes. Don't they look yummy? The plan worked! This reminds me of a story about God's plans. Do you want to hear it? If you're ready for a story on the count of three, yell tell me a story! One, two, Three, tell me a story. Today's true story from the Bible is about a man named Joseph. Joseph's dad gave him a very special coat, which made some of his brothers very mad. They were so mad, they sent Joseph far away to work in a place called Egypt. Do you think God was with Joseph in Egypt? Yes! God was always with Joseph. And God had plans for Joseph. While Joseph was working in Egypt, he was sent to jail for something he didn't do. Do you think God was with Joseph in jail? Yes! God was always with Joseph. And God had plans for Joseph. One day, the king of Egypt named Pharaoh had a dream, and he didn't know what it meant. He heard that Joseph was very good at understanding dreams, so he had Joseph brought to the palace to talk to him. Do you think God was with Joseph when he talked to Pharaoh? Yes, God was always with Joseph, and God had plans for Joseph. <laughs> Joseph listened to Pharaoh, and God helped Joseph understand the dream. The dream meant that lots of food would grow for seven years. But after that, there would be seven years where no food would grow. Pharaoh was so happy that Joseph helped him that he put Joseph in charge of all of Egypt. Do you think God was with Joseph when he was in charge? Yes, God was always with Joseph and God had plans for Joseph. <laughs> Joseph got to work saving food in Egypt for seven years. Let's count to seven together. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. <gasps> Look, Joseph saved so much food, which is good because just like God said, after seven years, the food stopped growing. Now, everyone needed food to eat, including all of Joseph's family. Yes, all of Joseph's brothers didn't have any food, but who saved up all the food in Egypt? Their brother Joseph! <laughs> when Joseph's brothers came to Egypt for food, Joseph forgave them for being mean to him. Joseph gave them a big hug and made sure everyone in his family had food. Wow, God did have plans for Joseph and God was always with him. 
God is always with you too. Did you like the story? If you did, give it two thumbs up. Two thumbs up. Hey there, Ollie, tell me, who is always with you? God is always with me. Yes, it's true. Now let's hear it from you. Tell me, who is always with you? God is always with me. That's the truth, friends. See you next time. Bye. So there's your story, and it's all true. God has plans for you, and God is always with you, too. Thanks, Ollie. Goodbye to you. Who? Who? Wow, God had plans for Joseph, and God was always with him. And I know God will always be with me, too. I think I got the story. Did you get it? If you did, say got it. Get it? Got it! Good. And finished. Let's see if we can fly this one all the way to Jackson's house. See you next time. Bye!